Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hi, welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello, Germany. We are so sorry. We owe you for not being here last week. Absolutely. We apologize. We did not forget about you. No, and we're going to make it up to you today with this video because it's been requested a lot. But before we do that, if you wouldn't mind, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, if you in fact do like our content, and it also lets us know you're here and you're watching. And also consider subscribing to our channel. It's absolutely free. And everyone else is doing it. Just kidding. <laughs> All the cool kids. <laughs> um, so before we go on with what we're doing today, um, I just want to say this really quickly. You're watching this Wednesday. Um, and oh, sorry. Yeah, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're recording this very, very early in the morning hours of Tuesday, uh, April 2nd, 2024. And when you're seeing this, you'll know and we'll know too um, mm -hmm. what has happened in our city. Now, we live in Cincinnati, Ohio, if you don't already know that. And um, we're supposed to be getting some really bad weather today, we possible are. tornadoes and serious tornadoes. Mm -hmm. So um, if that has, in fact, happened, because I'm talking to the future here. Hopefully um, that does not happen. Yeah, we hope that does not happen. But, mm -hmm. and, and if it does, then we're going to be helping our community as much as we can. And hopefully we'll be in the basement. <laughs> um, and that brings us to today's episode. We're finally doing a video uh, with Feely from Germany, who is also Feely in, in Cincinnati, uh -huh. our city. And if this reaches you, Feely. Hi, Feely. Hi. Please contact us. Please, yeah, Reach we, out. We emailed you like a year ago. <laughs> and we'd love to collaborate with you. We really, really would. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd love that. So what is today's episode? This has been requested Today a lot. is 15 German brands. You. You do. Or you. No, I don't. Mispronounce. <laughs> okay, I know I do. I know I do. One I'm being sure a, I do. One is Adidas. Our British mm -hmm. friends have told us many times, that's not how you pronounce it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't actually, Benedictus. I don't remember the original or the correct pronunciation. So I don't know if that'll be on this list. Added it? I, I don't Added know. Added it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think that's something you buy or, Might be. or you get from a... <laughs> I think I I'm know. making up stuff. So I'll be, I'm really interested in this and wanting to know what are they? Mm -hmm. Do I do it? I, I, or does she do it? Do we both do it? Or do we say completely different? Or we say it right. Who knows? Probably wrong. Let's find out. Hey, have you seen my Adidas shoes? Your what shoes? Sorry, I had no <laughs> idea I was going to start off with the, I know. the one First I know. one. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's see how they, what's the correct, correct pronunciation? Hey, have you seen my Adidas shoes? Your what shoes? Adidas. Um, Adidas, the brand? Oh, Adidas. Um. Adidas. I, 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 I can't <laughs> say, what? Shoes? Um, Adidas, the brand? Oh, Adidas. Adidas. I can't do that. <laughs> that is not normal for my mouth to I'm say it that way. so used to Adidas, like we already said. Adidas. Adidas. I think we're saying, we need to stop. <laughs> Sorry. Um, not sure. Maybe you've left them in the car? Oh, and your friend's Volkswagen? Huh? Do you not say it that way? Volkswagen, the car. Okay, hold on. Hold I on. know. We're going to make fun. We're going to have fun with this video. We're going to have fun with this video. Uh -huh. Okay. How do you think the correct, that's not the correct pronunciation of Volkswagen? Volkswagen is not Volkswagen? Mm, I have no idea. And learn. Car brand, it's a German car brand. You should know that. Oh, VW, okay. What? Ah, I hope they go back over that. Or she goes back over that's that. That's our city, that's Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My Hello, name is Felicia. Felicia. I'm originally Felicia. from Munich, Germany, but have been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off mm -hmm. since 2016. German brand names that English native speakers often pronounce very differently mm. than we do in Germany. And some of these brands, you may not even realize that they're German. So I Ooh. made a list of 15 German brand names that know. are typically mispronounced in English. And I'm going to tell you how they're pronounced correctly in German and also give you a little background information on some of them. Let's jump into our German brand names. First, of course, we have to talk about car brands because German cars oh, are being yeah. sold all over the world. They're famous all over the world mm -hmm. and a lot of people talk about them or even own a German car. I have it. The she first one it. is mm. Audi. Most Americans that I know... That's not how I pronounce it. We say Audi. Mm -hmm. Like a belly button. We do. <laughs> Audi. Did she and say Audi? She did say Audi. Audi. Huh. 
Audi. Well, I had no idea. Audi. And I just learned Any something. Audi. Audi. I want to hear that again. The first one is Audi. Most Americans Audi. that I know pronounce it like I just said it. Audi. In German, we say Audi. Wait. Audi. What? <laughs> <laughs> so we were saying it, right? Kinda. Yeah, it seems like it. I've never heard anyone say it the way she said it. No. Ever. Oh. Audi. Well, we jumped Audi. the gun on that, didn't we? We did. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Have you I ever heard know. anyone say it the way she said no. it? No. That Ameri Never. That I've never heard uh -uh. that. I just never have. Absolutely not. I mean, that's just... And we live in the same city, so I'm confused. I know. Where's she hearing that at? I don't know. I want to hear that again. The first one is sorry. Audi. Most Americans I've never heard I know pronounce it like I just said it. Audi. In German, we say Audi. We say Audi. Audi. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a funny story as to where this name came from. In 1904, a guy called August Horch founded a car company called A. Horch und Company Motorenwarenwerke Zwickau. Say but that three times a few fast. years later, uh -huh. he left the company and founded a new one. But he wasn't allowed to call it Horch again. And since that's not only his last name, but also means listen in the imperative form, okay. he ended up mm. translating it into Latin and that's Audi. So Audi means huh. okay. listen. The Smart. company is located in Ingolstadt in Bavaria. Oh, in Bavaria, okay. Interesting, but I had no idea. No. Um, I love learning stuff like that and, ha and, and this is cool. Like, so uh -huh. the information I'm loving, I'm loving this. But yeah, I've never heard it ever pronounced the way she said she's heard Americans pronounce it. No. I've only ever heard people say Audi. I know. So what's the next one we're going to sound like idiots on? Mm. <laughs> of course, one of the most famous car brands in the world is this one. It's Porsche located in Porsche. Stuttgart, Porsche. Germany. I've heard Americans pronounce it Porsche or Porsche. In German, Porsche. we say Porsche. So there's like this Porsche. short A sound in the end. Porsche. It was founded Porsche. by Porsche. Ferdinand. So there's like this or Porsche. I've never heard an American never. say Porsche in my no. life, and I, I'm, I'm old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe she's been in other parts of America that they actually say that. <laughs> she's younger than us. She is. I was gonna, that's that, why I said I'm true. old. This is very, very maybe the true. young people are saying it this way, this but is very uh, true. in my 42 years, I've never heard Porsche. No, um, Porsche, Porsche is what we usually mm -hmm. say. Exactly. Um, but this is it's interesting to hear uh, i'm learning both sides the american side mm -hmm. and apparently the exactly. uh, german side in german we say porsche so there's like this porsche. short a sound in the end porsche it was founded porsche. by ferdinand porsche in 1931 as a company for vehicle development work and consulting and one of the first assignments that the company had was from the nazi government at the yeah, time I knew that. to design a car for the general public which was what later would become Volkswagen. And so they designed the Volkswagen Beetle, the VW Käfer. I can't say Volkswagen the this way she said it. This one sounded super funny to me when I first Mercedes heard Benz. how people pronounce it in English. Mm -hmm. I actually used to drive one back in Germany. Um, so most Americans call right. this Mercedes in German. What do you mm -hmm. You don't call it Mercedes? There are strippers yeah. named Mercedes. They're going to be crying now. <laughs> Do you know how many strippers are named Mercedes? A lot of those. Do you, why do we know this? We don't know this. That's a very popular stripper name. Don't tell. <laughs> so many girls are going to be crying like, oh no. Their name is wrong. <laughs> mm, I can't wait to hear how they pronounce it. Do you know though that that's a very popular stripper name? Let's forget about the car part of it. This is something I want to tell you from America. Is it is it a popular stripper name in other countries? Hmm. Is it? Okay, how do you say Mercedes? Let's mm. find out. We pronounce it Mercedes. So Mercedes, Mercedes. What? versus Mercedes. I can't Mercedes. say that. So it's really Mercedes. pretty different. Very and different. The full name of course. That just doesn't fall Mercedes. off the tongue when you're putting dollar bills down a No, down, it down sure a doesn't. <laughs> now she's dancing on a pole. <laughs> Sorry. Of course is Mercedes. 
Benz. I've also <laughs> heard that in England that. people also refer to Mercedes as Merck. Um, a German really? mm-hmm. will not know what you're talking about. If Interesting you say English. That, just for your information. <laughs> Originally, okay. it was just the company Daimler Motorengesellschaft, founded in 1890. The name Mercedes was added later, inspired by a Daimler car dealer called Emil Jelinek, hmm. who was also driving car races under the alias Monsieur Mercedes, which was based on his daughter's first name, Mercedes Jelinek. The name was later also used for one of the car models in the year 1900, and then eventually became the name of the brand itself. I did not know it was a German car brand. Did you? Confession, I didn't know. I didn't know. Mer- Mer- so I'm sorry, I can't say that the way I, you say I, it I, properly. I'm just saying Mercedes. I never honestly thought about it. I did not think it was German. I don't know what it, I didn't. Exactly. You're right. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, and it wasn't American. Say, well, that's a German car like Volkswagen. We know Volkswagen's German. And we're saying it wrong. I'm sure we I'm are. I'm not even trying to say well, it. We haven't learned that one that's yet. That's just hard. <laughs> the German language is... is... Mercedes. That's, that, no. <laughs> that one, it... <laughs> Forgive me. Sad. This one simply has three BMW. letters, but of course they're pronounced differently in English and in German. Oh, yeah. In English, people say BMW. In German, we say mm-hmm. BMW because W is pronounced BMW. B in German, and it stands for Bayerische Motorenwerke, which means Bavarian Engine Works. I want to try to say it. Let's Bayerische try. Bayerische Motorenwerke, which means Mo- Bavarian no, Engine I can't. Works. I can't. <laughs> and of course, BMW is located in my hometown, Munich, which is okay. the capital of Bavaria. The we company seen was founded Munich. in 19. I didn't know Munich was in Bavaria. Did not. We're learning all kinds of stuff. This is a lot. 1916 and originally mainly produced aircraft engines. Mm -hmm. It's said that the logo represents a plane propeller and it also has the colors of Bavaria, blue and white, to show the company's origin. Then after World War I, they survived by producing motorcycle engines, farm equipment, household items and railway brakes. Wow. And built their first motorcycle in 1923. I knew the motorcycle. And then became a car manufacturer Mm -hmm. a few years later. They then went... Did you know that BMW was German? I did not. No. <laughs> I, I feel stupid. I didn't know. But I also don't look at these cars that I cannot afford to drive. It is true, uh, but still did not know that they were German. And yeah. Hey, Feely, here's how we find out if you watch our video. We both drive Subarus. Do you get the joke? <laughs> we'll see if she does. And back to concentrating on aircraft engines again during World War II, using forced labor from prisoners in concentration camps, mm-hmm. and didn't get back into car manufacturing until 1952. Oh, Overall, really? Overall, all of these German car brands that I just mentioned are more or less considered luxury brands in the U.S. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, Porsche, of course, is considered a luxury brand in Germany as well. In the world. But Audi, Mercedes, and BMW are pretty much just regular car brands to us. Wow. Obviously, oh, that's they not do fair. have expensive luxury cars as well, but the regular models are driven by people from all social classes in Germany. Mm. <laughs> Moving to Germany, Germany. Just English for the cars. speakers call this Volkswagen, while in Germany we usually just call it VW, VW, VW. We say but VW. Even too. if we did go by the full name, it would be pronounced Volkswagen and not Volkswagen. So just imagine that it was spelled with an F and V instead. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Wagen. Volkswagen. We can get that one. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. We can, we got that one. I sound like an idiot. That's why I don't try other other languages. Okay. I think we did good on that one. I don't know. I think that you did better than me. We do say VW though. Yes, we do. We do say that. That's easier. <laughs> <laughs> This literally means people's car or car of the people. And it was founded during the Third Reich in the late 1930s because Hitler wanted to have a car that was affordable for middle-class Germans and that met the needs of an average family. So this was his attempt to make cars something that wasn't only available to upper-class people, but to the general public. And the company is based (coughs) in Wolfsburg. I would have now let's move on to something other than cars. Huh. So this is one of the brands where <coughs> I heard Americans say this for the first time. I Adidas. didn't understand at all what they were referring to. <laughs> Sorry. Because they usually pronounce it Adidas. We do. And in Germany, we, we say Adidas. 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 Super different. Where the it's hell exactly- did we get Adidas from then? Adidas. What'd you call me? <laughs> Can call you anything. At, what Adidas. she's saying makes more sense Adidas. phonetically than what we're doing. It does. I don't know where we got Adidas from. I mean, no idea. Adidas, 
Adidas. Super different. It's the second largest sportswear manufacturer in the world after Nike. And I don't think that a lot of people know that this is a German company. It also has an interesting backstory. I didn't until we started on the channel. Exactly. I, I didn't. Was, I was going to admit it. I had too. no idea. Yep. But I love Adidas. Adidas. I can't do it. I, I don't think that was right. Adidas. Adidas. That's not right, is it right? I need Adidas. to hear something like Adidas. a lot before I can get it in my head yes. and say it back the right way. It's one of my favorite brands and I have a lot of clothing, shoes, all that stuff. Mm, yes, I'm is. a fan, I'm a fan, <laughs> I'm a fan. But I wanna hear more about the company. It was founded by Adolf Dassler, whose nickname was Adi. So the brand name Ew. is based on his first and last name, Adi, Adi das. das. He founded the company at his mother's house Adi after das. he returned from World Adi War I. And he actually played a big role in developing spiked running shoes. In 1924, his brother okay. Rudolf joined the company and they founded the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory. But they later got into a fight, split up, and his brother actually founded his own company what? called Puma, which Stop became it. the biggest oh, wow. rival of Adidas. <laughs> and that's German? I have Puma shoes oh. in there that I love. Shut Man. the front door. This is a fascinating video. She's amazing. Yes. She's that, amazing. That explains why they're such rivals. They're yeah. brothers. Oh, that Going is cool. the same market. And so successful, too. Mm -hmm. This is cool. This is cool. Absolutely. Love Did not channel. know. The pronunciations are fun to learn, but the history and information she's giving, Definitely. way cooler. Way cooler. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, you learn something every day, don't you? His own company called Puma, which became the biggest rival of Adidas. So both Adidas, Adidas and Puma I are German say Puma, brands. right? I didn't know that was German. Puma? Another shoe manufacturer. Birkenstock. Many Germans would... All lesbians know this shoe. <laughs> they definitely do. You probably they consider it wrong. Very, very German. Like if you talk about something typically German, Birkenstock Didn't is know definitely going to be mentioned. Didn't but know. of course, this brand is known all over the world nowadays, and it's natural that people pronounce it with their native accent. Uh -oh. So mm -hmm. English speakers usually say Birkenstock. In yeah, German, we, we say Birkenstock. 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 I can't do that right now. To Birkenstock. <laughs> And that's so wrong. You sounded Please Swedish. Please forgive me. You sounded Swedish. <laughs> did she sound Swedish? Any I don't Swedish know what friends I watching? You really did. I thought that sounded um, very Swedish to me. It definitely wasn't. Or German. more Rose Nyland on, on Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. 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 Bacon stock. <laughs> no, what? Bacon? I don't know. <laughs> At least you're trying it. I'm too chicken shit to try it because I can't do it. Stick. The roots Earth of the stick. company go That's all the way back to the 18th century, by the way. Really? That's cool. From I've actually never heard of alcohol, them. this is pronounced Jägermeister. <laughs> that stuff's nasty. Clearly it's I don't not. drink no more. It's been 19 years, but still. Ew. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Throwing that up the next day was the worst thing in my life. Jägermeister. You say that differently, I'm gonna cry. Jägermeister in German. Jägermeister. That's a little English different. English speakers usually say Jägermeister, which is pretty mm -hmm. much the same, just with a pretty thick accent. When she says things, in a, and you know, she doesn't have a very strong accent, right? Uh -huh. But right. when she says things in our Native American mm -hmm. accent here, our true American accent, yep. you would never know she's from Germany. No, <laughs> no, definitely not her, you her accent. Not at all. And, and people also often use the abbreviation Jäger. Like yeah. Can I have a shot mm -hmm. of Jäger, please? It literally means hunt master. Jäger is the hunter and Meister is master. And mm -hmm. it's a German herbal liquor. Mm. Herbal. <laughs> this is a German grocery Aldi. store. You can also find them in other European countries. Aldi, and you? they even have some stores in the US. I usually get yeah. the majority of my groceries at Aldi here in the US. In Aldi. Germany, we call stores like Aldi or Lidl discounters Aldi? because they sell groceries for Aldi? very low Aldi. prices. In English, people usually pronounce this Aldi. I think I've also heard Aldi before, but I think yeah. most people say Aldi. Or they also sometimes add an S that isn't there in the Aldi's. end and say Aldi. <laughs> that <laughs> proves she's in Cincinnati. <laughs> she that proves she's we in Cincinnati. We add an S on just about everything. Yes, we do. I love this. I love you, Feely. <laughs> that is proof she lives in Cincinnati because we do that to every place. Uh -huh. we, just, make... <laughs> we do. It's not Kroger, it's Kroger's. Yeah, our grocery store is uh -huh. the... The fourth largest in the in the world is Kroger. Yes. We all call it Kroger's. Mm -hmm. That's a that's Cincinnati hilarious. thing, though, for real. I don't think that's uh, probably true of other mm -hmm. places, but it's so. <laughs> in Germany, we just say 
Aldi. It has its origins Aldi. in 1945 I, I when the two brothers Theo and Karl Albrecht took over their mother's corner store and mm. came up with the concept of having a small selection while having low prices. The name Aldi comes from Albrecht Aldi. Discount, so Albrecht, which is their last name, Link Discount. discount. In Germany, okay. we have Aldi Süd and Aldi Nord, Aldi What's South that? and Aldi North. Again, this is because okay. of two brothers splitting up into two different Stop businesses. Stop again! In the US, the store is simply called Aldi and it actually belongs to Aldi South, while the store Trader Joe's belongs to Aldi North. I, I not forgot that. about that. <laughs> That's my favorite grocery store. Yes, it is. I love Trader Joe's and I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Now, it didn't start off with them owning it. Trader Joe's did start in California. It was mm -hmm. its own original American yes, company was. and then it sold off. So mm -hmm. I forgot about that. I'm glad she put that in here. Huh. Now let's move on to cosmetics. Nivea is a German brand from Hamburg that's... That's not how we yeah. say it. <laughs> you want to do it on three? Okay. One, two. Well, hold on. Let me do it the right way. The German way. One, two, three. Nivea. Okay. That's how we butcher your words. Mm -hmm. We're sorry. We don't mean to. We don't. We, we don't know guys. better. We're here to learn, and we're going to start saying these better. We're going to try. <laughs> we say Nivea. What did she call it? Now let's move on to cosmetics. Nivea is a Nivea? German brand from Hamburg that's mainly mm -hmm. known for its face Didn't lotion in a little blue container. But of course, they offer a large variety of products nowadays. Again, I find the English pronunciation pretty funny here. English Sorry. native speakers usually say Nivea. <laughs> Nivea. In German, we say Nivea. 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 So the emphasis Nivea. is on the E. This is a German hair cosmetics brand that you can find all over the world. Schwarzkopf. Debbie's a hairstylist, Debbie. if you don't know this, and you've used a lot of their products. What's your thoughts on them? I do love their products. Definitely the hair color. Do you use their hair color? Or are you used Occasionally, to? Occasionally, yes. Huh. Have you used it on me? I've had it. Have I had uh, any? I believe we have had it on you. And they do have a very good... In Germany, you've been on me. <laughs> Platinuming shampoo. <laughs> Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. We're not saying that right. Now you're gonna know. Not? In German, we pronounce it Schwarzkopf, which Schwarzkopf. literally means black head. Schwarzkopf. English native speakers usually All pronounce right. it Schwarzkopf or Sorry. Schwarzkopf or something along those lines. So hold on, no, no, no. You got to get that down because now you can be really Why snobby at work. Again? I'm going back for you. Now at work, you got to use this and you'll sound so much like, more what like... What are you talking about? No, now? you'll just sound more pretentious, <laughs> of course, but you'll, you can actually charge people more now. Literally means okay. black head. Schwarzkopf. 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 Schwarzkopf, which Schwarzkopf. literally means black. Deutsche Bank is the largest bank in Germany. Yeah. Deutsche Bank also literally means Germany. German, German bank. bank. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can find Deutsche Bank not only in Germany, but in other countries as well. A good friend of mine here in Cincinnati actually just did an internship with them in their New York City location. Mm. And she's also going to start a full-time job with them soon. And Americans that. usually pronounce it Deutsche Bank or something that. along those mm -hmm. lines. And my friend always Deutsch. uses the abbreviation Deutsch when she refers to it. Um, so like she said, I got a job offer from Deutsch which is just really funny to me because that Wait. literally just means German. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is a German manufacturer of high-end domestic appliances. I've mm. never seen that in my life, and I don't have a clue how to pronounce that. <laughs> Do you know this one? Have you seen it? I've seen it a couple Clearly, times. I it's have not, not super common. Of course, I haven't been looking at high-end appliances lately. So. so my American brain wants to say that in an Italian way. Mm. Go ahead. No, I'm good. I want to say like Mili or something like that. Mile. Yeah, or that was the first thing in my head, actually. One of those two ways. And it's not exactly pronounced wrong in English, but English native speakers okay, well, usually say something like Mila, Mila. Um, so it usually sounds more like an A in the end, whereas in German we say Mile. Miele. So the last Miele. letter is just a little bit different. Well, and Miele really does stand for quality. Miele. If you invest in a Miele dishwasher or washing machine, you just know that it's going to be a good product and it's <laughs> going to last. I've never seen it. Let's go get some. <laughs> This is something that everyone Haribo. knows and loves, hopefully. <coughs> Maybe not everyone knew that Haribo is actually German. I didn't we until we started the show. Haribo. Yeah, exactly. 
Haribo. And Haribo. again, the name originates in the name of the founder of the company, which was Haribo. Hans Riegel. And he was from the city of Bonn in Germany. So Bonn. Hans Riegel from Bonn. And he always took the first two letters. I put see them it. I was looking for and it. And it became That's cool. Haribo. Hans Riegel Bonn. If you're learning, Haribo. hit that like button. Let us know. Absolutely. Haribo. It's really cool. I love and this. last but not least, let's talk about a comp. Okay. I've seen that a couple times. I don't know what it is, and I have no idea how to pronounce that. And I'm really, oh, you don't know. <laughs> See, I, there's no there's, way I'm going to try to say that one. I was going to ask you to, and I look over, and you're all like getting uncomfortable in your oh, chair. Lofana. <laughs> you're leaving out totally a bunch of letters wrong. here. Yeah, but it's. You know what it is, Ethan? Uh, I've seen it, but I cannot remember where I've seen yeah, that I logo from before, though. Loof, 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 loof. Lofana. <laughs> We're adding more to this in their new We're trying. Today. I promise I'm trying. <laughs> Luf, then, uh, let's just go ahead and let her tell us. That is not doing super well during these times, but it's one of the largest companies in Germany and oh. second largest airline in Europe. And airline. maybe you've flown with them before. I have not. In English, people usually say Lufthansa, but in German, we say Lufthansa. Lufthansa. So Lufthansa. the emphasis on the first syllable. Didn't I say Luf Lufthansa? Didn't I say that? Versus you did. Lufthansa. Well, I feel like a complete moron. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, we don't know how to speak and didn't know uh, brands. Yeah. So most of these brands were German. Well, the last two, wasn't it? I didn't even, I never even heard of before. Last two or three. Exactly. Um, we get so smart too in this channel and we hope you're learning along with us. I mean, we start off kind of not so smart, right? But yeah, I mean, that's the point of doing this is to learn it. And know it and then sound like a pretentious jerk to mm -hmm. the people and go around and be like, you didn't know that. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> How do you not know that? Duh. <laughs> but I really, I really uh, had fun with that one too. And I, I love the information. I love Feely. If you haven't subscribed to her channel already, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> go subscribe to her channel. Um, but uh, yeah, it's so cool that we share a city. Um, we'd love, I hope this video finds her. And if it does, Feely, we'd love to work with you in some Absolutely. way. Collaborate. And we got between us like almost a hundred years, <laughs> almost a hundred. I said between us, a hundred years, almost. We have ninety some years, almost a hundred okay. years. You didn't realize why that, did you? Why are you mapping? Why are you doing that? <laughs> but of, of 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 Cincinnati, born and bred knowledge. So we'd love to uh, do something with you if that's something you'd be mm -hmm. interested in. Hopefully, it makes absolutely, it to you. absolutely we would. If you guys, this, sorry, I was just gonna say how much fun this was to yeah. actually try to speak. Some German. Oh, I didn't to try. To pronounce them in the right way. Anyway. Yeah, I, I, I think did, it was I, fun. I don't like trying because I fail. If you guys like this episode, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Like Debbie said, it's always free to do. And again, go mm -hmm. to Feely's channel if you haven't already because more people are subscribing to her channel. You need to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Get the good stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Natasha and Debbie Show. And we will see you on the next episode. Again, as always, please love like jazz and be as strong as Tyson. See you guys. Bye.